Hey guys, uh, I did not have this video planned, but I was going through the next year's 13.3 updates and I found a very interesting uh, update called parallel routing and interception. So basically, uh, they have introduced a new um, dynamic convention. Um, so it allows you to implement advanced routing. These features enable you to show more than one page in the same view, like with complex dashboards or modals. Uh, with parallel routes, you can simultaneously render one or more pages in the same view that can navigate independently. They have shown a very basic um, idea over here. They have a layout, uh, they have a user uh, slot, they call it, and team slot. And you can conditionally render which slot to show up on the layout. Uh, so this, this is a very basic uh, way of how to use it. But the more interesting way I found out over here was using modals, which they uh, have actually, they have it on Nextgram, uh, this repository. So I cloned this repository and I was looking through the code over here. Let's zoom it in very much. And so this is go through this uh, quickly. So the, this is the front page. What, so just see what happens over here, all right? When I, these are images which are rendered on this page. If I click on an image, see the URL changes to slash photo slash one. And now if I refresh this page, it is the page of its own. So basically what they're doing is they are intercepting that photo slash one route, which is supposed to go over here. They're intercepting it over here and then rendering that modal inside the layout. I'll explain it in more detail. We'll just go over this page.js. This is the home page. Uh, it is taking all the photos from here. Uh, this photos.js file. Um, then what they're doing is they're rendering the, all these images uh, over here and they're linking the images to slash photo slash that ID, which is slash photo slash ID. So generally it should have basically gone to slash photo slash ID slash page. But with the new uh, intercepting route system, this is a slot and they are rendering the slot inside here. So basically this is the equivalent of doing something like children and modal and they are rendering this modal over here. So children, any page uh, inside, well, this route can come in as a children. You don't need to specify a slot for it. By default, all the pages go into add children at that page.js else. Um, and we also want to render this modal over here. So it, what now it is happening is slash photo slash one is basically rendering inside this layout. So it's saying let's render the modal instead and it is intercepting this photo slash ID. So how they're intercepting is it says the uh, convention is to use the dot dot convention uh, with parentheses, parentheses outside it. And it is saying anything inside slash photo slash ID should be intercepted and then rendered as a modal. So they are rendering this modal, which is a basic modal page. Um, it is a client component, which is being rendered over here. And basically what they're doing over here is just rendering a, a modal and they're using the router somewhere. Yeah, so on dismissing uh, the modal, they are going back. So the uh, the advantage of this is you have URL routing now. So if you click on this and you can just, uh, you have slash photo slash one, you can just go back now and you have gone to that page. It emulates something like how Reddit works. So if you go to reddit.com and then you click on, well, um, some page over here, this is a modal, right? Now, if I refresh this page, okay, they've changed this, but, um, if I go to my Reddit, and if I click on this now, this is a modal, which is being opened over here. This is not a single page because this has this close over here. But if I refresh this page now, see what happens. It is a page of its own. It is being rendered on its own page. It is just intercepting that route 
and opening a modal instead. I am assuming how Reddit works is they actually open the modal and then change the window.url object. Um, but now inside Next.js, they have this uh, property of intercepting routes. And I'm very excited to see what all we can do with this. Um, I will be linking a few resources uh, on what, um, well, intercepting routes. I saw a few by, um, you can go through Sh uh, Shad's uh, thread on parallel routes and interception. And he also gave this example on uh, the Nextgram uh, example over here. So take a look at it. It seems like a very promising uh, new change inside uh, next year's 13.3.